Yes, yes. So the process which we are going to learn from starting now, where we uh, we are going to learn phi zero one moment, how system is going to determine all the data relevant. Like whenever we are doing MEGO for phi zero one moment, how it is going to work situation. Okay. So now I want to create a stock without a purchase order. I don't want to create a stock with purchase order. I want to create a stock with phi naught one. Is it free stock, whatever we say? And then how we can do that? So slash and me go. And then go here. Just give material slip and material number. And then quantity is 100. Where I want to keep plant 39Z1 and storage location R1. And it's a goods receipt without a purchase order. If I go ahead and check, it's a document is okay. How can we say the document is okay? Just go ahead and do the following configuration. SPRO. So logistics execution decentralized wms central processing application define interface this one and go here and give you a 391 okay so you can see that if you are doing a pfizer one moment you can give your ship to party and delivery type DIG and then vendor. This is one setup. Second setup. And for your warehouse, looks like it is not mandatory, but if you to keep it, it's okay. So these entries to be maintained. Shipping point, sales or distribution channel and entry. And go ahead based on this it was saying okay and then if i say post delivery will be created 1039 if you go ahead and see slash n slash sc slash n vl 33n you can see 39 with item category dign and if you go ahead and see the header somewhere here administration the delivery type is DIG. So this is what you can see it or here. And then receiving point 39S1, whatever. So this delivery should be available in EWM to, you to do this. And you go ahead to EWM. And go to here and do the configuration. I think we lost the connection. First configuration need to be done for DIG and then DOG. DIG Go to inbound delivery, define document types. And document type I created Z I N B. This one. So I said like internal actually. And then same nothing was changed over here. Go back. It's a copy of INB. Same in delivery for the AG and all these options are done this. And I have created define item type for this with Z DLS. And if you go ahead for Z, DLS for idea and ZDLS for 
PDA. So this is what we did this configuration and then once it is done, we went to document type determination for in boundary process. You can see this. This is what you have to do for in document type. This is what you can do for item type or here. ZINB is ZDLS. And then I think we see this. So then what I did here somewhere. ZINB, DLB, and the IDLS and ZDLS. And then I come out here for interfaces. Map the document types from ERP system to EWM. DIG with ZINB. First entry itself. Map item type. DIG, DIG, and ZNB, ZDMS. And map date type. So here I think T G T O C C some T delivery maintained for J D M B T delivery and that's it. Based on that, this delivery is available here. S C W M slash P R D I. So my delivery number is thirty nine. And how the warehouse process type is determined? Maybe you can see this ZINB and item type is chat DLS. So based on ZDLS and ZINB, WT50 was determined. This is the config, what I can say that. Mm. So this is the combination. F1 is maintained in the product master, WT50. So this is how we can determine this one. If you want, you can see product, warehouse data, F1 is maintained all here. And also one more point, this material is going to be relevant for VAS. Just go ahead and click this. So warehouse process type based on that goods received create warehouse task cannot able to accommodate of course quantity. That's the reason it was created. Okay, let's go ahead and create this one. It's a bin problem. In this bin, we can only accommodate 10 pieces. So now the stock is available in this particular okay, ST50G110C. Any question, guys?